Welcome to Lenore Tech Training Videos. Today we're going to show you how to wire a push button to your Netbell 2. First, we need to wire the push button with your two conductor cable. To do this, you need to pop the pack off the push button and you'll see a common terminal and a normally open terminal. So, first we need to push our wire through the back plate. We'll go and attach the black wire to the common terminal and screw it down tight. Pulling it to make sure it's a good connection and do the same with our red wire on the normally open terminal. All right, now that it's tight, we'll go and bend this wire and attach the back plate to it. And there's our digital push button. So now we have our digital push button wired. It's time to connect it to our Nubbell 2 device. We'll wire it to our digital input number one. And to do this, we just need to make sure the terminals are open. Do that real quick. And tighten down each side of the terminal to one of the wires. And if you look here, they're both a good connection. The next thing to do is to flip the inside switch. And to do that, we'll need to remove the clamshell on our netbelt too. You can do this by grabbing that lip by the terminals and just pulling up on it and it'll come right off. The two switches are right here. They're labeled ISO, which is where they're shipped in, and PU for pull up. Now, we're just going to go ahead and push them in the pull up mode. That way, it's the correct position for a digital push button. Okay, after we've put the position, um, the digital input in the correct position. We'll just go ahead and replace this top cover, making sure it clamps down, and then we can go ahead and power it on. Once we're in the services in and out page, we're going to assume you have the push button wired to digital input one. So we'll click the edit icon. And then here, make sure you check the use checkbox. We're going to keep the type and state, but we'll change the display to a dot and we'll change the command line to a normal by typing in capital N, then clicking save. It's set to off, denoted by the red We can change this by pressing the push button. Changing it from red to green and back to red when we let go of the push button. From here, to set it to trigger our relay, we'll navigate to the task page and then clicking the edit icon for the first clear task, which happens to be task number one making sure we enter the use checkbox. Then from device A, we'll select digital and we'll type in 1S equals zero for first digital input 
the state equals zero. We don't need anything for logic, device B, or data B. Select relay if it's not already selected for device C. And then we'll enter a one, although we can enter multiple relays by separating them with a comma. For this example, we're just going to use relay number one and we'll set the action to on. This turned on the relay. So now we'll go back in and change the zero to a one, denoting that its state is on when we want the relay to trigger. Now that we have our task to turn on a relay using a digital input, we can make one to turn off a relay using the digital input. Now you notice for device A, we have digital. In data A, we have 1s equals 1. Well, we'll enter in 1s equals 0 for our data A on our next task. So we'll click the edit icon. Activated by checking the use checkbox. Selecting digital for device A. Entering in 1s equals 0 for data A. Using the same relay as before. And then setting the action to off. Now whenever our push button is pushed in it will turn the relay on and when you let it go again it will turn the relay off now we'll go back press the button down and it turns on the relay once more now your digital push button should work to trigger your bell